Okay, gentlemen, trunks are good here. A little high. Trunks are good here. My guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want you to protect yourself at all times, keep the fight clean at all times, and what I say, you must obey. Good luck, touch gloves, run us with it. We also know that Margaret of Cintron is aware of that knowledge. I'm sure he is. If he doesn't look to... That was what everybody talked about. Tried to come in. Exchange there. Wins. As well to wait. One of the big difficult punches. Margarito very hot. Well, he's done it 22 times in 20. Then you know what he's capable of. But Margarito now, returns fire to the bottom. Has not the opposition that Margarito has fought. coming off nine months. Margarito and the inexperience of Cintron starting. 14% of his punches, 13%. Eight. Has no value if you don't have a way of getting it to the target. Margarito is sometimes Margarito will get there into that punching area. He's starting to get there now in what I call zone, that in-between land, that danger zone, where he's not all of the thing, will not hurt Citron as much as... So Margarito sometimes right there, in that no-man's land, has stand tall every once in a while. The body and got a slight warning from Kenny Bayless to get it up. Tries to come over the top. So we talked about it, and make no doubt about it. They both have, we've said two or three times already, for welterweights. They could easily be mistaken for middleweight. And keep the other guy at the end of the punches as Margarito. Another nice combination from Tony Margarito. Now here comes Kermit on the inside. He put a right hand, oh, yeah. short right hand, to the head of Margarito. Now they're swinging away. That's what to do what he does. Show the power. And just yeah. The wrap on Margarito is that he could advantage of that early. Here in this second round, maybe a glimpse that Margarito he does. Well, Margarito will give up his height it doesn't take him, especially if he gets too close when he throws that jab. He could be vulnerable with the right hand. Stop! Stop! Stop. Cintron in the red, white, and blue. Tony Margarito, the world champ in the black and silver. Joe Tessitore totals in the first round. Pace picked up a bit in the second round. Margarito, 79. Now measuring with that left. Comes with the right. Just analysts all night long. Hey, Brady, it's Teddy here. Being that Cintron is it good in one part that he's maybe able to get over the shakes. You know, that he's just look able out, to out, get his out, bearings. Surprise me, Teddy. He seems very poised to be, you know, that young and that inexperienced. Look out, look out. He's on his own. He's going to he has proved himself. Sugar Ray will catch up with you down the road. Round number three, scheduled for 12. You know, I got to give Margarita, or actually Simpson, a little credit here. Right now, he's not just behaving like a puncher. That's why he's doing well. Oh, okay. Margarito gets him that time, Teddy. Yeah, but Margarita's doing well right now, but... He's in that punching area when he's doing it. He cannot get lax or careless, and there's a bad there's cut. A bad cut. One of the bad right eyes exchange, Teddy. Of Citron. Are they rule? Kenny Bayless is bringing him right over to Dr. Margaret Goodman. That cut was caused by a punch. Okay. And it just started spurting Time blood. In. Well, it's difficult enough that he's cut a lot to ask for the 25 year old thing in his favor he's got that eraser he's got power so a bad cut stop, over stop, the right stop. eye from tony margarito and cintrone has an uphill battle ahead of him marco guido an offensive fighter Centron, an explosive one. Margarito does it in numbers, up and down combinations. Moves his hands around and he creates openings. He doesn't wait for them. Again, the uppercut in the middle and then outside with the right hand. And we talked about it in the tips. Centron could be vulnerable. Palace, it started this kind of action and a world title on the line. Even with that good last round for Mar See the experience, the championship experience. He's not getting careless. He respects Centron. He knows that he has power. He knows his opponent. Body shot with the right and then goes to the side of the head with the same hand. Now he digs to the body with the left and tries to put a combination together with Centron against the ropes. And right now, Margarito doing it in a very workmanlike fashion. He's doing it with technique and he's doing it with amounts of punches which we expected. Put them together.
canvas with still over a minute to go here in round number four. So Jones gonna need now that power. And he's gonna need a little recklessness from Margarito to turn this fight around. The champ comes flying in. Centrone hanging on. Down to the canvas again. Three, Being scored a knockdown. Four, you know five, you got a fighter with Margarito, six, 11 years seven, pro experience. So okay, Jordan, it. four and a half. It's showing. There's no three knockdown rule. Unified rules, world title on the line. There's a right hand by Cintron. Maybe his only hope at this point, but he needs to. And you know that you have the power advantage. No experience at this level to right. say, I it is a Cintron. City. What a tough spot he's in. Margarito's helping him a little bit by not going downstairs. Stop, don't push, not don't going push. to the body. Round spectacular for Tony. Punch numbers, but not just punch numbers. Quality punches and aim punches, selective punches to the right places. That's what an experience of Margarito showed you right there. Second knockdown that time as Cintron puts a right hand together with an uppercut. And what that does is it brings on of punches by Margarito. It's that he's been accurate and that he's placed the ball. He's been Cintron hugging around the waist at that moment, Teddy. He's desperate and he's trying to he's save some time. time. He's, he's, it's one of two things. He's trying to buy some time, which he needs to get a chance to recover. Or if it continues, it might be a guy breaking down, a young guy panicking Teddy, in this kind of fight. He is not steady on his feet, and now he's on a knee. No, he hasn't five, been steady for a good minute six, and a half of this fifth round. Seven, and you know what, Joe? It's not just eight, the physical damage. It's nine. the body language. Look at it. He's fight? not here. You want to fight? He's been asked the right question by a good referee right there. Can because the body language would beg you, beg you, not just the physical action, but the body language would beg you to ask that question. Right now, Sintron looks to me like a kamikaze guy. He's looking to get it over with. This is going to be the longest minute of his life here in this fifth round, if he can survive it at all. He's not only hurt, he's badly discouraged. Five. Look Six, at the way he's looking over seven. his corner. He wants his corner. No, that's it, Teddy. He wants that's his it. corner. He was Marvel looking Marvel. over. You saw the body language. He was looking over at the corner, looking for intervention, looking for help, saying, I can't handle this. I'm not ready for this tonight. Help me. And his corner, they helped him. He's breaking down in tears. And you saw in it happen. hold of Marshall Kaufman, who's been like a father to him. 24 and 0 with 22 knockouts as they entered the biggest fight. There's a melee breaking out of ring, but security's right on top of it as we show you the knockdown there. Nothing really clean landed. That's why I use the words I use that not just physically he's been hurt, but psychologically, emotionally, emotionally, mentally, he was starting to be really broken down, discouraged, separated from himself. He was starting to Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of two minutes, 12 seconds in round number five. Our referee in charge, Kenny Bayless, recognizes the corner. Upon their suggestion, he stops the contest. The winner by way of technical knockout, and he is still the WBO welterweight champion of the world, Antonio Tony Margarito.